Hey, boys and girls, moms and dads, and my fellow coaches. Coach Jerry here from North American Village T-Ball Phillies. Another great day for baseball. And today I'm going to go over some activities that you can do before you start your regular practices with your drills. So I'm going to go over a couple of things, a couple of fun things you can do. All right. You can start out with just doing little exercises, you know, like reaching up and stretching, and then stretching down, touching your toes, you know, little basic things that, you know, all, the, all your children can do. And you can even do like a follow the leader. You know, if you want to, as the head coach, you want to go around, do some stretches, do something else, and then run a little bit, and do some other activity. You know, just use your imagination, you know, and do uh, things like that. And then uh, another good exercise to do, activity, is um, running the bases. So, you know, you can just get them to start out at home. Here we go. Just pretend they're holding a bat. Tell them, pretend they're holding a the bat and make sure their hands are right. And what you can do is they're just going to pretend to swing and then run all the way around the bases. Make sure they're stepping on every base. And what I like to do is to have, every time they get to a base, they call out the name of the base. Like first, second, third, and tell them to say it loud because you know those kids can be loud, so make sure they're yelling real loud, all right? And something I brought here today, I'd like to show you. It's a bass, but it makes a little noise every time they step on it. It's like a nice incentive for the kids so they'll be able to, you know, remember to step on the bass and not stepping over it as they're running because they do that a lot. They're so excited about running, they'll step right over the bass. But here, get them to step right on it, you know, and you can get all three bases if you like it at a uh, local um, sporting goods store, okay, if you like to do that. But it, like I said, it's a good incentive to have the kids step on the base. So, you know, you can swing and have them just run around, just do it one at a time and have them all follow each other around the bases and making sure they're yelling real loud, okay? All right. One other activity I have for you. What I like to do before the season starts, when I find out who's on my team, I write their names on a baseball. Say if I have like eight players, I'll get eight baseballs, I'll write each one of their names on the ball. So the activity you can do, you get all the children around you at home plate, and you take one out, and you show them their name, and you say, okay, for example, Chad, this is your ball. I'm gonna throw it out to the outfield, now make sure you know where it's going. You're going to do this for each player. Show them the ball and then throw them out there. Okay, and then the activity is, when I say go, they're going to run out and get their ball and come back and just step on home plate. I also get a ball myself, and I'm going to throw it out there too, you know, maybe a little farther than the kids, you know, just give them a little chance, and they're going to be racing me back to home plate. So that's the activity, you know, one, two, three, go. Make sure they don't start early. You know how kids can be. We'll start early, wait till you say go. So that's what I'll do. Just throw all the balls out, different parts of the field. And then when you say go, go out there and do it. Get their ball and tell them, make sure if they pick up a ball, it's not their name, put the ball back down and find your own ball, okay? Just little activities like that, you know, before you start your regular practice. And coaches, use your imagination. And I know you can come up with all different things. This is just a couple examples of what you can do. Okay? All right. Okay, boys and girls, keep on practicing. And I'll see you next time. This is Coach Jerry. Baseball rocks. See ya.